Hi, I'm Matthew Leonard, host of the St. Paul Center's Bible and the Virgin Mary video series and the Art of Catholic podcast. If you've ever had any desire to go on a life-transforming pilgrimage to beautiful Italy, this is for you. Right after I became Catholic 20 years ago, I studied theology in Europe. And while I traveled to lots of places, nothing compared to the Eternal City. As a Protestant pastor's kid who grew up in a church that was literally a converted gymnasium, Rome blew me away. I spent a fantastic week touring drop-dead gorgeous churches, discovering hidden piazzas, and exploring all the rich history offered by this ancient and cosmopolitan city. Just a few years ago, however, I encountered Italy in a totally different way, as a pilgrim. While I was still blown away by the beauty and grandeur, I appreciated Rome in a much deeper way. It was home. The sacred sites I explored with my fellow Catholic brothers and sisters moved me to an even deeper love and appreciation for the amazing 2,000-year tradition of our faith. How can you not be moved when exploring the catacombs that hit persecuted Christians? How can your heart not swell at the sight of a glorious sunset over St. Peter's Basilica or the stunning beauty of its holy altars? The treasure chest of Rome is never exhausted. On my upcoming pilgrimage, We'll visit Michelangelo's Pietà, the breathtaking Vatican museums, including the Sistine Chapel where popes are elected, tombs of great saints like our first Pope Peter and his successor, St. John Paul II, St. Paul's outside the walls where Paul himself is buried, St. John Lateran, which houses the chair of St. Peter, the holy staircase from Jerusalem, the Appian Way, not to mention St. Peter's Square and a papal audience. Of course, you'll also have plenty of time to shop, and sample the exquisite Roman cuisine, as well as the opportunity to toss your coins into Trevi Fountain to make sure you can get back. But Rome is just the beginning of this incredible pilgrimage. We'll visit the charming narrow streets of Orvieto, tour the ancient town of Gubbio, where St. Francis tamed a wolf that terrorized the town, Laverna, where Francis received the stigmata, and of course, Assisi, his hometown. Nothing compares to strolling the medieval streets of Assisi. It's like going back in time. While Rome enlivens the senses, Assisi ignites your spirit. It's a place of tranquil beauty, prayer, and repose. Meditate inside the famous Portziuncola Chapel, which is nestled inside the Basilica of St. Mary of the Angels down in the valley. Soar to heaven singing vespers with the cloistered poor Clare nuns in their basilica near the top of the city. Ponder the cross of Christ while gazing upon the original San Damiano crucifix. It's all that and more. And since it'd be a shame to make it to Italy and not experience the romance and beauty of Venice and Florence, there's an optional post tour to those iconic cities as well. Of course, this is a pilgrimage, not just a trip. It's meant to help us fall more in love with Jesus and his mother. So along the way, I'll be giving talks designed to help you dive more deeply into the spiritual truths we encounter. We'll also have our own priests and private masses at incredible Catholic holy sites every day. All of this takes place in the care of 206 Tours. I've done all my pilgrimages with them because they're the best. Private coaches, incredible guides, great food, great meals, and service that is second to none. They're my family and they'll become yours too. Together, our days will be immersed in the incredible grandeur of Catholic Italy and our nights spent over wine, conversation, and cappuccinos. So call 206 Tours today at 800-206-TOUR and ask about Matthew Leonard's trip through the shrines of Italy in March 2019. It's going to be an amazing adventure into the heart and soul of our beautiful Catholic faith. God bless you.